Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. Let's enjoy some great music together. Yeah, so what do we got for our Goonies today? Well, today we're going to do a little bit more Canadian content because we're Canadian. Yes. And it's the weekend, and we like to do that on the weekend, show we you guys do. what we uh, love about our country and our music. Uh, usually the stuff we don't know. Uh, actually, yeah. Almost every time it's music we don't know. Uh, we haven't done a whole lot of Bruce Coburn, and uh, we felt like we had to do a little bit more Bruce Coburn. Yeah, we've done a few songs so far, and we yeah. always do enjoy his work because he's, well, he's a wonderful storyteller, he is. basically. And I mean, a lot of his songs are really deep. They are. For you sure, uh, he was—he's a, a Canadian legend for sure. Yes, uh, you know, not Gordon Lightfoot legend, but definitely. But he's still a legend, yeah. Definitely up there. Uh, his music is profound. It's really interesting. Yeah. So far that we've heard, and as we've been told, obviously. So. Yeah. So we should probably get into this one. Mm -hmm. This one is called Creation Dream. Yeah. Now, it was asked for by Herbish, or Herbish, H-R-B-I-S-H. Yeah. H-R-B-I-S-H. Herbish, I think. Yeah. But anyway, that's just my thought. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're definitely interested in uh, Bruce Coburn's music. Of course. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into this one. This is Creation Dream, and this is Bruce Coburn. and this is so interesting yeah i really like it the musicianship is just unreal yeah are those are the colors marimbas i think so yeah the wooden uh, xylophone yeah thing? yeah so good oh my mm. goodness immediately it just grabs your attention so nice you know so nice and the rest of the instrument the drummer yeah like he's just getting right into it this is so well written it is it feels really good yeah it's quite interesting. Like even and the guitar work, uh, just amazing. I wasn't expecting any of that. Yeah, it feels really interesting for sure. The way the music's being done, mm. almost Caribbean like, almost, almost, you know? almost Caribbean like. Yeah, it's interesting for yeah, it, sure. It has a, a world flavor, I suppose. That's yeah, which is not uncommon for Bruce. He no. does a lot of world type stuff. No. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Maybe he likes to travel. I don't know. I think so. I think he's probably kind of a worldly guy. He seems to be when you listen to his music, at least. This is true. Uh, definitely a man for the environment and stuff like that. Oh, for sure. He's an activist mm. very, very much. But, um, yeah, the music. Like, this is what's catching me right now is, like, just the music alone. Yeah, it's fantastic. So well done. So fantastic. Like, wow. Yeah. Anyways. 
Let's keep it going. Yeah. Did you happen to catch what that was about? No, I was too invested in the music. The music was fantastic. I know. I know. It's hard to really catch the lyrics when the music has just grabbed you so harsh like that. Yeah. Like, not harsh. I mean, it just grabs a hold and doesn't let go is yeah. what I'm saying. I am sorry for cutting off the instrumental in the middle. I should have stopped at. I should have waited for a vocal and then. I <laughs> That's know, okay. I know. But I was, it was, it, there was a lot going on, and I was like, "Oh, it's going to be the next, it's right, yeah, right." <laughs> so when I hit the, when I heard the eight count coming, I was like, "Okay, here." It sounds. Sing. I should have let him sing first. I mean, it's called Creation Dream. Yeah. I'm not sure what it's about. Maybe look up the lyrics for a second. But it sounds kind of like I heard him say things like, um, "I saw you dancing," and arms raised to this guy or the stars or something like that and then something like mercury shooting silver i don't know exactly let me see centered on silence counting on nothing i saw you standing on the sea and everything was dark except for sparks the wind struck from your hair huh okay sparks that turned to wings around you angel voices mixed with seabirds cries Fields of motion surging outward, questions that contain your own reply, their own replies. You were dancing, I saw you dancing, throwing your arms toward the sky, fingers open like there's stars were shooting. Like flares. Oh, like flares. Stars were shooting everywhere. Yeah. Lines of power bursting outward along the channels of your song, mercury waves flashed under your feet, shots of silver in the shell pink dawn. Interesting. I have no idea what this is all about, quite honestly. Any thoughts? Some kind of dream? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's called Creation Dream. So maybe it's about creating a song. Ah, uh, Creation Dream. Or, oh, yes, duh. Sorry. <laughs> totally don't even think that way, do we, half the time? Just creating the goddess or whatever yeah creating something you know she's some kind of goddess with fingers fingers outstretched and, and things yeah stars coming out of her fingers yeah but it was obviously some sort of a dream yeah yeah a creation a creation thing or a goddess or whatever a god even i don't know yeah didn't say whether it was a male or female but it's about a song too it says creating the song yeah right or yeah helping create the song that even this song that he wrote. 
who knows? But it's very well done, this whole thing. It's, it does say along the channel. It says, lines of power bursting mm -hmm. outward along the channels of your song. So I think that might be kind of what it is, like the, the creation dream of creating a song. I don't know. Maybe. It's kind of odd the way it's worded. It's hard to understand exactly what the meaning is. Yeah. But I mean. Most interesting though. Yeah. Very sure. interesting and extremely well played. I love the oh, music. Oh my goodness. The musicianship. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure somebody's going to explain to us exactly what this song is about. Yeah. Because that happens often and we don't de generally go looking for ourselves to see what it's all about. We usually just wait for you guys to tell us in the comment this section. Is, this is true. Uh, I mean, we could, you know, go into the genius uh, site and yeah. see if there's any meanings written there. But again, that's written by people like you guys. So yeah, sometimes what we do is we just look at the lyrics real quick. <clears throat> And then we wait for you guys to fill us in. It's yeah. just kind of how we do it. Well, it, it works. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, you guys aren't going to be right 100% either, but, you know, you're well, going to know thing. more than us, right? That's the funny thing, because some people will interpret a song differently than others. I've this seen that even in our own comment section a few times. Oh, yeah. Five yeah. different meanings to, to one song. It's yeah. not uncommon. It's not uncommon for people to make mistakes and... And think mm -hmm. that they're correct. Or put their own kind of views into it. Right. Yeah. But I mean, that's music for you. It's very subjective, you know. This is true. Great stuff, though. Musically. Oh, wow. fantastic. Wow. Like, these guys are pros. This was written. Yeah, it was so well done. Yeah. So thank you very much for that request. It was definitely appreciated. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month, and we're adding things there all the time. Also, like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.